This reader interview is sponsored by the patrons of the Rereading Wolf podcast. So let's see, you're, you're in uh, Singapore? Yes, I am. Do I understand that right? Yep. You got are, are you originally from Singapore? No, I'm originally from Turkey and I moved to Singapore. But yeah, I moved to Singapore about like uh, 20 years ago, 21 now. Oh. Yeah. Is your nationality Turkish? Or yeah, nationality is Turkish, but I um I changed it to Singaporean in the last uh, like two, uh, three years ago. Awesome, yeah. awesome. Okay, hold on here. Let me uh let me get up. I have to get up my questions. No, I have it in front of me. I know, but I need them. <laughs> <laughs> right. Okay. Uh, this time we have. Well, I've always called him a uh, Korkut Goulet, and I asked him if that was right, and he said. Close enough. Yeah. So why don't you tell me exactly how to pronounce your name for real? Sure. Um, my first name is Korkut and the surname is Güde. Both of them are um, Turkish names. So, um, gosh, this is really great. So you're, you're, we're talking to, to each other. You're in Singapore. I'm okay. in Texas. Uh, you're, I think you're the first international listener I've talked to yet. Oh, that's nice. All right. So you ready to get started? Sure. Yeah. Let's go. All right. Okay. First encounter with a wolf story all right okay so i had to go back and remember this one but um now when i look at my library i realized that i was i was buying that um golan series with the um sci-fi masterworks and oh, yeah. yeah yeah and uh it should be fifth uh, fifth head of cerberus was the first one that I read, that I, I read it and I just, uh, you know, thought to myself, like, what what did I just read? <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I can't really make it because I, I was reading Gormangast at the same time and I was it was like, oh, tonally, maybe they are kind of similar, a bit, a bit, a bit weird, a bit out there, but I just cannot make the, at the, the end of the story. I, I don't understand any of it. So <laughs> that's my first encounter, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Well, this kind of, I'm, I'm curious about this one. Favorite novel or short story, either or both? All right. Um, short stories, I really don't know. I, I, I like them, but the, I think the f- favorite novel is The uh, Soldier of the Mist for me. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Well, congratulations. <laughs> other than me, you're the first person in these interviews that I've talked to whose favorite was not The Book of the New Sun. So, do you have you, you've read Book of the New Sun? Did you did you start reading? How long ago did you first read the Book of the New Sun? So, um, I read the Fifth Head of Cerberus, and I really didn't look up anything else after mm-hmm. that, right? Um, and I I read a blurb by Neil Gaiman after that, and talking about the you know the Book of the New Sun. Then I said, all right, let me just start to that mm-hmm. one. That sounds interesting. And um, I don't know, maybe um, maybe ten years ago or something. I really I really cannot recall right now when when was the first time that I read it. And I read it and I know that um, after I read it, it's just this, this you know, reads so differently. I know I read something important, mm-hmm. but I can't make, it, make make out of it. Like, what, what did I yeah. just read? And like, like you said, right, you know, at, at, on the surface is, is, is about a journey. It's, it's, it's an adventure, a bit of, um, you know, uh, war and everything else is going on, but there's so many sub teams and uh, you, you just mm-hmm. miss it, right? right. Uh, at the first read, then I came across the, um, uh, you know, the lexicon. And once I read the lexicon, I said, like, did I get this book, you know, as backwards <laughs> altogether? Because this is just talking about stuff that I didn't really get oh, it. Yeah. And then I read the second time and the third time with the lexicon. Okay. Yeah. Well, um, yeah. I think you did the the right order. I read the Book of the New Sun and first, and then I came away thinking, ah, you know, he's a really amazing creator world. So eh, maybe a so-so writer. Cause, but then I read Fifth Head of Cerberus. And I, oh, I get the book of the new sun now. <laughs> so <laughs> this guy's yeah. a great. And so that's why do you like uh, Soldier of the Mist so much? Um, I don't know. I mean, it's may- maybe it is uh, happening around the regions that I, um, you know, are born and grew up. Um, mm, yeah. uh, that is, and sure. I, I like the language and, you know, the, the, I, I like the, how the other people more than, sometimes more than Latro tells the story of what is going on. And, uh, you know, it's, everybody's very unreliable. Just like the you know the book of the new sun, but in the in the latter story as well, right? right? Everybody is very very unreliable, so you just kind of cross referencing and trying to understand what is going on. So it was it's interesting, and uh, sometimes 
you know, trying to guess uh, which God is that. So let me just go and check all these reference points. So it's like right. which God is dropping in now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's the ultimate outsider. Yeah. Right. Yeah. He's he's an outsider where he is. He's away from home, yeah. and he doesn't even know himself. Yeah. So yeah, he has no clue. Right. He's such a classic wolf <laughs> uh, protagonist. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Favorite wolf word? Um, I think I think there's like, right. Uh, I was thinking of this one. It's two of them. I think like one of them is for no apparent reason, right? One of them is peltast. The other one is destrier. I think. Yeah. yeah. Just because you like the way it sounds. Some. Yeah. Yeah. This. Oh, that's usually my favorite yeah. too. Yeah. But that's generally how I pick mine. Yeah. Um, personal non-consensus theory about a wolf story or your favorite one. Oh yeah, I, you know this is this is some something that I'm really weak after after listening to the podcast or something. I really didn't have too much too many theories anyway, but um, I think this is going to mix up with the with, with the mystery part, right? Uh, the, the, about the, about the last question, perhaps is that the well, we can combine that. Um, the, the, I've got yeah. two. Good, two good. The next follow <laughs> question is the most frustrating mystery in a wolf story. Any so yeah. I mean the whole book, yeah. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> yeah, apart from that, I think is the um, parts of the botanical garden, right? It just it just doesn't. I don't want to say doesn't fit, but I, what are those people in the in the hut? What are they exactly doing? Mm -hmm. You know, wh what is their function exactly? There is it just you know something to to get us pulled into deeper into the mystery, or do do they really serve any point overall in the story? That's 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 the mystery for me, right? Yeah. Um, I know I know it's been discussed and probably you know ex explored in depth or something, but it's still just just weird to me that uh, that was going on. And uh, honestly, I mean um, the um, this whole uh, first Severian and the uh, many Severians timelines and everything else is just is just really mysterious to me. And uh, I always try to try to place it together and paste it together. And only after you know at, after it has, it has been mentioned in the in the podcast as well, then I started to figure it out. Oh yeah. Uh, Every time he was he was confused. Every time that he came really close to that, something else happened. Something forked, and he either got replaced mm. or something else. Happened. Yeah. Oh, I like that one. Okay, yeah, yeah. Um, you know, I always you bring up something I've kind of been mulling over. What is the purpose of the jungle garden? Let's see, like the the Garden of Endless, Endless Sleep. That actually yeah. has an actual functional purpose, right? He says yeah. it's so he can talk to the, so the Autark can talk to the Kamehameha without having to go to the other side of the world. Yeah. And, but what's the Garden of Endless Sleep? What's the Sand Garden? What are these places there for? That's a, yeah. You just made me think of another mystery. So, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, is it like Father Inere just trapping people there for fun and popping yeah. up once in a while and chatting with them, or just torturing <laughs> them? What is it? What is it? Right. Yeah. 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 What is it? What are we trying to get at at these particular places? That's really, yeah. All right. Well, that's it. That's all there is to it. <laughs> well, thank you, and thank, thanks, thanks for the podcast. Really. This was, again, entirely sponsored by the patrons of the Rereading Wolf podcast. You can go to patreon.com slash rereadingwolf to play a part in bringing other amazing things like this into the world. And if you want to take on the five questions with us, reach out to us by email or one of the other methods listed in the show notes of this episode.